Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and we're going to provide you with an update on a multi-unit building. We'll break down the financials as we do every month. And just before we get started, if you enjoy watching these, click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and we'll send this out to you every 30 days. So what we did is we selected a triplex this month that sold in the month of May in the west part of Ottawa. Now the list price on it was 1150000 and you can see here it sold for $1 million. 128. Now it had a scheduled rental income of almost $53,000 and that gives us an effective rental income of about $51,000 and the operating expenses that were stated uh, were about $12,600. So when we add in 5% uh, uh, for management and 5% for maintenance on the property, our tow or total operating expenses are almost $18,000 annually which gives us and net operating income of 33,363. And when we have the net operating income and we know what the property sold for, then we can calculate a cap rate. In this case here, cap rate's sort of ugly. It's under 3%, so that's like, uh-oh, what's gonna happen here? The operating expense ratio is actually pretty good, 35%. You know, my preference range is like a low of 25, maximum of 50, and 50 is ugly. So that's, that's actually not bad. It sold for 22 times the gross income, 34 times the net. So if you go by my general rule of thumb, 35% down should return you a positive cash flow. The uh, down payment here would represent about $395,000. Uh, your um, mortgage payments are, you can see this on the screen, about $3,800. Now your annual debt service, that's your total annual mortgage payments, are here. So what that translates out to is when you uh, take out the uh, uh, payments versus your net operating income, you have a negative cash flow of almost $13,000 and a negative ROI of over 3%. So for your investment of almost 0.4 million dollars, you have the privilege of losing almost $13,000. That's what happened with this building.